and welcome welcome back to those especially to those who have battled through this entire uh, sequence of tutorials this is tutorial 25 part 8 where we will finally apply our firewalls so up first is going to be our zone mapping and we're going to have to set up all of our zones because we still haven't set up zones yet and then once we got the zones we can actually apply the firewalls between those zones we are at the point now where we've uh, used GNS3 and VirtualBox to set up a couple of e-routers um, using VMIOS. We have set up some switches, got some private um, um, VPCS or PC machines to act as if they're a particular VLAN. Um, basically, we've run through baselining, bonding, um, VRRP, VLAN creation, firewall creation in terms of rule sets and now we are at the point where we can build our zones and apply those firewalls. So hopefully this will now all make sense once we set up these zones. So I'm just going to very quickly check that we can actually still ping and this is from the public into the DMZ um, this is the DMZ machine, it will of course be able to ping back, and this is a, which one is this? Uh, the web, the web zone this one is, and we can go from web to DMZ, and then I'll bring up a fourth console, can't remember which one this is on, this is on 11, and let's bring up our zone map quickly, which was 11, 11 was app, so app to the outside which won't be allowed after we do our firewalls 110 yeah app to outside so everything is pinging all over the place which is nice and at least we know what our networking is set up the trouble is we have no firewalling and the whole purpose in doing this entire tutorial was to set up firewalling so what are we going to do first? Well, first we're going to set up our actual zones. So let us actually have another quick look at the zone map. I'm trying to find the picture now. And here is the picture of our zone map. So we have an outside, an inside, a local, a DMZ, a web, an app, a data, and a management. So I'm going to leave that up here and we're going to set these zones up. So like I say, we have to tell it about all these zones. Um, let's go in to RTR LON01, go into config mode, and let's tell it about all of these zones. So set zone, whoops, exon, zone, policy, zone. And let's start from the bottom and work our way up or just chuck it in there let's get local outside and inside finished first so set zone policy zone local and its description is going to be our local zone um set zone policy local what interface is it on well it's on the interface local the next one is going to be outside and its description is going to be our internet zone and what bond is this going to be on or what interface is this going to be on. So we'll say interface and this is going to be on bond zero because that's our outside. Next up is inside. And this is our private soft layer zone, for want of a better description. And inside is on the interface bond one. Okay, so that's local, outside, and inside. Now we want to say our DMZ. And our DMZ description will say our DMZ 
So why not? Its interface is, well, this is on bond one, but it's on bond one dot one, two, three, eight is what we assigned this one. So that was bond one. In fact, actually, if I bring up both of these at the same time, where's our other one? We can try to keep a track on both of these. One, two, three, eight. That is what we put it on. Bond one, two, three, eight. In fact, actually, maybe do a run show interface down here. Uh, no, because we're not actually seeing them all. That's interesting. Why have I only got private app web? I must have forgotten to do some of the interfaces down on the south side. Wow. Some of you will have noticed that as the video went on. I probably forgot to do some of the VLAN, so we're missing um, five, six, and seven down here. Okay, that's good to know. I'll have to go and fix that now in a minute before we can actually do our config down here. Um, I'm somewhat, uh, somewhat surprised. I thought I had done them, or maybe I had, but I forgot to do a save. Um, it's good to know though. I was sure to make some mistakes doing this whole thing. It's rather a long tutorial. Anyway, let's get back to this. DMZ, we've done DMZ. Tick, so tick, 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 tick. Web. So our web zone. And we want first to say a description of our web zone. And our description is going to be our web zone. Then we're going to say the interface that the web zone is on and that's going to be bond one dot and what is our web one two three four one two three four okay next up is going to be our app zone and we'll write a description for this we'll say our app Location zone. That's going to be on interface bond one dot, and our app zone is on one, two, three, five. Okay, one, two, three, five. Then we want our data zone we're going to call it data make it easy for ourselves and the data zone is going to be on interface bond one dot one two three six lovely very last one now for our zones. So we've done data and now it's management zone. Management. And its interface is bond, whoops, bond one dot one two three seven, was it? One two three seven, yep. I'm going to commit that. Okay, that's interesting. We've no local interface. Right, run show zone. We have app, data, DMZ, inside, local, it took local anyway management and outside and web perfect right so they're all there we have our zones so now we can finally apply our firewalls uh, bring checking out what was there and what isn't there um to see what else i forgot to copy down onto the second machine 
Um, so we have all the firewalls and we have the groups. Uh, what we don't have is the interfaces. So what I've done is do a show configuration commands up here to get us to the actual commands. Again, it's a good uh, double check. Um, and we now need to apply those down here yet again. Um, so we're missing one, two, three, five. So I'll just bring all of one, two, three, five up here. And what we want to do is go into config mode and do a set interfaces bonding bond one with one two three five address and its address is 10.1.11.4 slash 26 because we're on the south side here um, and then it's actual Yes, and it gets the gateway address for the dot two. That's fine. Yep. Yeah. So that will be the one, two, three, five. Um, I'm not going to bother with the description. VIF one, two, three, five, uh, VRRP, VRRP group uh, one, advertise interval is one. Sorry about this, uh, preempt is false, priority is going to be 253, and the RFC, and then the sync group is going to be V group 1. And its virtual address is going to be on the 10.1.11.2 slash 26. Commit that. Save it this time. This is why I wasn't get the assertion, getting the assertions earlier. Now I do a run show interfaces. <coughs> and there is 1235, as we would have expected to have seen. So let's go back up here to this. This one's on 12. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 6. Just get it up up here. Um, not concerned with the actual comment. Uh, set interface bonding, bond 1 with. Yeah, that's fine. It's as quick for me to do this. Preempt false priority two five three RFC sync group is V group one and its virtual virtual address is ten dot one dot 12.2 slash 26 commit save run show interfaces excellent so we've only got two more to do that's one more to do in fact yeah one two three seven was the other one missing so let's get it up there That's on the 13, 1, 2, 3, 7. Um, VRRP, VRRP, group 1, advertise, is 1. Preempt is false. Priority is 253. RFC, sync group, can't believe I didn't save these earlier, um, sync group is V group 1, oh the best laid plans, hey how, sorry about this, virtual address is uh, 10.1.13.2 slash 26, commit, save, run, show, enter, 
And up here, I'm going to do a quit and I'm going to show interface and make sure I've got a bond zero, a V1, a bond one, a V1. Yeah, that's, oh, that's interesting. Why is bond V1 administratively down on this system? Oh, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, sorry. Um, because zero would be as well, because uh, it's VRRP. Right, so bond zero. We have one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, seven. And the two address is the shared address. Yes, and this is on three and this is on four. Fine. Okay, so sorry about that. Slight segue, just to make sure we had these up to date. Um, I'm going to go into config mode on this one and do a save. Because clearly I haven't been doing enough of them. Um, and a save over there. So let's now, now we have all of our zones, if I do a show, sorry, run show zone policy. Oh, um, exit. Show zone policy. I'm now getting myself confused. Show zone policy. Okay, sorry. We've only done the zone policies up the top. That's fine. That's fine. Maybe I should take this moment to do the zone policies on the south side. In fact, that is exactly what I will do. So I'll go into config mode. So once again, let's set up our zones. Set zone policy zone. Uh, we'll start from the top and we'll say local. And we'll give it a description of our local zone. Its interface is local. Next one is going to be, whoops, our um, outside. Let's do outside first. Out zone its interface is on bond zero because that is the outside let's do inside description is our inside zone and its interface is bond one. Next up is DMZ description, our DMZ zone. Its interface is on bond one dot one two three four, uh, one two three eight. Next up is web our, oh yeah, let's just stick with web so right it is um, on interface bond one dot one two uh, one two three um what was our web zone on? Our web zone was on let's just look up the top and duplicate it down here management outside web one two three four one two three four next up is app zone and this is on interface bond one dot one two three in fact this was the easier map to read it off let's just stick this up here app is on one two three five perfect data description our data zone 
interface. This is why we need to have the interfaces. One, two, three, six. Yep. And then finally, uh, management. Oops, uppercase. It doesn't need to be uppercase, by the way. It just makes it easier for me. Um, so feel free to have a different, you know, not to have an uppercase. Uh, our management. So, and it is on the interface bond 1.1237. One, Double check. Yep. Commit. Get the local error. Yep. I'll have to create a loopback interface, but that's fine. For the purposes of this, it's good. We don't have those zones anyway. Uh, we can still apply the firewall. We, we don't have you know those groups. They don't exist. We're on our lab environment. Um, I'm going to save it. I'm going to exit, and I'm going to do a show zone policy. There they all are. Lovely. Good. So the machines are in lockstep again. Excellent. So, last thing. Apply the firewall. We are finally going to apply our firewalls. So I'm going to go back into configure mode and thanks for bearing with me while I made sure I did have this synchronized properly. Up the top here on the north side. So we can now finally say set zone policy. Name the zone. Well, let's do it. Let's do the local first because we have a zone local and we're going to say from because we're now applying the firewall from outside. So from the outside, the firewall name is outside to local. Make sense? So from the outside, the firewall name is outside to local. Who can get, do you remember when we set up the rule? We set up port 22272 for SSH, and we set up um, the amount of retries you could have, and you had the counter on that, and logging. So that was the firewall that said outside to local, what can have access. Next one. Next one is DMZ, and I'm going to say from inside firewall name is inside. Now you also see two why I named them the way I named them inside to DMZ. So the rules in the firewall inside to DMZ will dictate the zone policy of DMZ coming to it from the inside. I hope this is making sense. Next one. Um, the next one is zone web. From inside firewall name inside to web. This is where we'll find out as well whether I actually have these called the right names. Um, the next one is going to be app. Zone policy app from inside firewall name is inside, whoops, inside to app. Next one, no guesses for this one. I might as well just write it in now. Data. Data. Is this all making sense that it's just so mechanical in terms of the way you do it? So long as you name things a really simple name, like inside to data, then when you're setting up the zone policy for zone data, from inside, the firewall name will be, oh, amazingly, inside to data. And then finally, management.
So management from inside. So these are the private software networks in that group that we put in the inside. We said the source would be the software private network. So we're setting a zone policy on the zone management that from inside to dictate the traffic that's allowed, it's going to be the inside to management firewall. Okay, next up, um, we might as well do the converse of this inside. Um, set zone policy zone inside. So zone inside from DMZ, the firewall name is DMZ2 inside. Inside, and this is going to be from web. Whoops, from web, from app. It doesn't really matter, we can do them in this order. Firewall name web to inside. Yep. Next one app to inside. Next one data. And lastly, management. Management. Management, make sure I spelled it right. Lovely, okay, management to inside. Good. Um, let's do the web zone. So web from DMZ. The web from DMZ, the firewall name will be um, web, uh, sorry, DMZ2 web. Is that right? DMZ to web. So from DMZ, DMZ to web. Yes. Oops. Oh, fried wall I have. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. So that's uh, the web one. Now we want to cover the app one. So app. App from web this will be so app from web is going to be web to app yep okay we've not got that many left now what's the next zone going to be management from web firewall name web to management is that right let me check my logic again web to management we're going from web firewall name yes right um i might as well do all the management ones now app App to management. Yep. And data to management. Lovely. Okay. Um, we haven't done a data one yet. So let's have data from app because we're allowing it from uh, data and app and the firewall name is going to be app to data I didn't call it database did I? it was app to data yeah app to data we've not got many left now I think web web from management 
firewall name is management to web. I don't think we've done that one yet. And then finally, I'd usually have a checklist of all of this, but bringing it all up and having checklists on one side, you get the idea. The whole point of these is to learn from seeing it being done. And if I've missed a couple, I would find them and add them later. Um, it's easy enough to add them later. Um, I want to do app. Management to app on the app zone. So zone app from management, the firewall name is management app, yeah. And then I think lastly is data. Management, so it's on the data zone from management, management to data. I think that is it. I think that is it. So let us bring up our little map here. We have done management to, so read it from the top down, sorry, so management, management to web, management to web, management to app, and management to data. Perfect. Database to management, so this is reading it this way, database to management, app to management, web to management. So like I say, you just check it off against your zones. I'm going to commit that, hopefully. Might get the odd error. No errors. I'm going to save it. And now we can test what can ping what. Check what can ping what. Let's bring the Mac up again. Here's our public. Here's our public pinging to the DMZ. Timeout, 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 timeout. So we can't get from public to DMZ anymore. That's interesting. I thought we were allowing it. Let's ping public, let's bring this up, public to web, web is on 10.10, timeout, 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 <laughs> nothing there going on there either. Can I even ping the local address of my uh, 10.12.100? Yep, I can see the router. Can I see uh, 101? Yes. Can I see 10.9? Uh, sorry, 10.1.9 dot, uh, let me just show my run show interfaces, 10.1.9.5, yep, so we know we're getting through to it, we're just not getting through to the actual zones themselves anymore. So, I mean, the good news is our firewall's working, it's stopping, but it's stopping everything. Let's have a look at the firewall. We're coming from public, from outside. We want the one that says outside. We have loads of insides. Local to outside. Outside to local is working fine for us. Outside to web. Not applied to any interfaces. Ah, okay. 
So we haven't done outside to web. So, okay, we want to go outside to web. So we want to say set zone, oops, we might as well bring the line up. Set zone policy from zone outside, outside, uh, sorry, set zone policy web from outside and we want to go outside to web commit save now can we go outside to web and web was on No, still not going through. Web zone is ten dot yeah. So let's do a run show firewall again. Management to data, and you see how you develop these and you build them up. Outside to local, that's fine. Outside to web, zone web from zone outside. Okay, that should be allowing it. So what are we allowing? Well. I don't see any ICMP, so we're not allowing ping, so my ping test will fail. <laughs> so that's always worth seeing. Um, that was a bit judicious of me. I I'm not allowing ping to the web from the outside, to the web zone, and that's fair enough. I'm allowing, from the looks of this, port 25 for SMTP, port 80 and port 443. So if I had a website in my uh, GNS here, I could go to the website and we can see that it's active and it's working but I haven't allowed ICMP. So let's try another zone. Um, what do we have? We have, what have I got here? Um, let me do a show IP. This is on the 14. So this is DMZ. DMZ2 and what one is this one? Show IP. And this one is web. So this should work, ping, because we're allowing everything. 10.1.10.10, uh, .10. hopefully, nope, nope, yes, there we go. So as you can see, the internal zones are working fine. I still can't get over the fact I didn't allow ping. Um, so why don't, we just, why don't we just add that to our list here? Um, just for the purposes of this tutorial, um, let us say that we will allow pinging into the web. It's a good proof point. So we have rules 100, 200, 300. So let's set firewall uh, name. Uh, this is outside to web rule rune rule 400. And we're going to say action accept. We're going to say the protocol is ICMP. And let's commit that. And let's just save that. So let's bring up these again. Here they are. Let's bring them to the front. And let's try and get through and see if we can and we can so i guess i mean i could do infinite amounts of testing between the different zones here um, to make sure they're all going but rather than bore you with consistently just keeping pinging machines left right and center i guess it's time to hand it over now to you to build your own gns3 uh, with vbox VYOS machines. Um, I'm really hoping that this 
helps people understand how to practice and get better at using, and indeed, as you've seen, I could do with getting better as well, at uh, using VYOS and Viata. Um, that was the hope from this. I guess at the very outset, I said that we would cover um, a few different things. I'm hoping that we have. Um, the whole reason for doing this is summed up on this particular slide here. Why are we doing it? To understand and detail traffic flows. I hope I've sort of covered that with those um, matrices, um, these ones here. Hopefully you've seen now how to baseline your Viata, how to create bonds, how to create high availability with VRRP, how to configure multiple VLANs, how to test everything on failover, um, how to prepare your zones and build firewall rule sets, how to you know, prepare for those private network internal soft layer groups. I know we can't test it in our lab, but I showed you how to create the group. Um, and then how to implement the zones and actually get those firewalls working. So I'm really hoping you got a lot out of this. Um, it's been a long time coming and my apologies that it's taken us till tutorial 25 to get round to really doing a deep dive on Viata. My name is Eamon Killian. Thank you so much for watching these videos and thanks to the now 300 subscribers. Um, and are near 30,000 views, so I can't thank you enough. Hopefully you're getting a lot out of this. Join me next time when we're gonna do Puppet, because I thought it'd be rude not to have done Puppet given that we did Chef. So we'll cover Puppet, and who knows, we might do Ansible as well. <laughs>